friends it is that time of the year again the most wonderful time <laughs> whether you celebrate christmas or just want to get into the holiday gift giving spirit maybe you're looking for ideas for a birthday or anniversary other occasions or most importantly just treating yourself <laughs> there's something here for everyone welcome to my 2022 coziest gift guide i did one of these last year as well if you're looking for even more ideas but i think you will find something here no matter who you are <laughs> because i will be doing over 100 gift ideas for the coziest of gamers and casual gamers alike of course and as a certified casual gamer. <laughs> I do feel that cozy gaming expands more into our lifestyle and other interests as well, so this will also cover other gaming needs, desk items, content creation things, home decor, and so much more <laughs> by the way hey i'm kat welcome back or welcome to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for joining feel free to grab a hot drink a blanket get cozy <laughs> maybe get your notes out as well so you can take down some of these gift ideas i will have links down below to where you can find most of these products but if for some reason you don't see an item there feel free to check back in because i'll do my best to keep updating those links and if you do decide to use the links down below some of them may be affiliate links which means it'll help support the channel in some way at no extra cost to you so in order to be able to do the cozy gaming we probably need something to play on and if you're new to the channel you may not know that i've been a huge fan of handheld gaming from the game boy advance days basically and so that's why i love the Nintendo Switch for my gaming these days. There is the regular full-size Switch, the OLED Switch, and also the Switch Lite. I have made videos in the past comparing the three, but keep an eye out on an updated one for the holidays where I break down which Switch I recommend depending on the gamer. But for a quick rundown, I recommend the full-size Switch if you are someone who wants to play on a big screen, on your computer or your TV, of course. And I recommend the Switch Lite for people who might want a more compact, lighter <laughs> dedicated handheld gaming experience if you also grew up from the game boy nintendo ds and 3ds then this is most like that because it doesn't connect to a tv unlike the full-sized switch I obviously love and use both but I will say that I use the full-size switch more when I'm at home and I bring around the light almost everywhere with me, especially when I'm traveling just because it's so much more convenient and I do love the smaller handheld form factor. I think the light is great for kids as well because it doesn't have the moving parts like the detachable Joy-Con or the dock, so less things to break and misplace in my opinion. <laughs> really though, I think it's down to your needs or the person that you are gifting the Switch to and you can't go wrong with any of these choices because they all equally have access to the amazing library of games that the Switch has. Now as soon as I unbox my Switch or any of my tech, really the first thing that I want to get is a screen screen protector so I recommend one of those and to further the protection but also a very easy way to customize your switch and make it look cute you can get thumb grips there's so many different kinds these days I absolutely love it and also you can get an actual case to put on your nintendo switch these also come in so many fun colors and designs there's definitely something for everyone if you're someone like me who might prefer comfort over the cute designs i recommend a good grip for your nintendo switch my favorite brand personally for this is skull and co they make amazing grips for all models of the nintendo switch and what i love the most about them is that you can change the size of the grip depending on your size of hands and comfort level that you want. Going back to the games, if you're someone who likes collecting physical copies 
of games, I highly recommend a game card case to put all of your collection in. That way you're saving yourself the trouble of going into each individual game card case. <laughs> if you prefer downloading digital games though, you have to get a memory card for your Switch because it's so easy to run out of the onboard memory. With the original Switch and Switch Lite having 32 gigabytes and the OLED Switch having 64. That storage is enough for a good handful of smaller indie titles maybe and one or two AAA games, but let's be honest, we'll probably end up with much more than just a handful. I personally use a 400 gigabyte card from Lexar. I've used the brand SanDisk, both brands for the Switch and for my other tech as well, so I don't think you can go wrong with either. If you're looking for specific game titles, my channel is full of videos with different recommendations for everybody. So feel free to visit my other videos, but if you want to leave the choice to your giftee, <laughs> you can always get them a Nintendo eShop card and that way they can load this onto their Nintendo account and it's up to them to buy whatever they would like. If there's someone who likes playing multiplayer games or want to take advantage of the Nintendo Switch Online perks, then I do recommend getting the Switch Online membership. It gives you access to cloud saves, which makes it very easy transferring between a full-size Switch and a Switch Lite if you are a multiple Switch household and you want to share your games. Maybe you want to play something on the TV, but then bring your Switch Lite for work or for travel and you want to pick up where you left off. I love the cloud saves for that. Before retro gaming lovers like myself, this membership also gives you access to the library of Nintendo Entertainment System, Super Nintendo, and on the expansion pack you have the N64 and also Sega games. If you are someone who plays on the TV or like to play a lot of couch co-op with your family or friends, I recommend another set of Joy-Con. This is also another easy way to switch up the look of your switch. <laughs> they come in so many different colors now and you can always mix and match and each individual Joy-Con can act as a single controller. But if a larger controller is more your style, I love the Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. It's one of the most comfortable controllers I've ever gamed on. There are of course some great third-party options as well which I will leave down below for Joy-Con alternatives and also Pro Controller alternatives. You can connect a Pro Controller or Joy-Con to a Switch Lite as well and if you're wanting to play the light on tabletop you can get a stand for it to prop it up nicely. If you want even more customization for your Switch and you want to experiment, maybe tinker with your device. <laughs> I love swapping the shells and buttons on my Joy-Con to create very custom combinations and colors for myself, but if you're not comfortable with opening your Switch up, that's totally okay too because there are so many great skin options that you can use to change up your Switch so much quicker and it adds that extra layer of protection as well. The skins that I use on my Switch are from the brand KO Custom Creations. They're based in Australia. I love their shop because they offer so many cool designs and they also have released a cozy collection with the coziest color scheme ever that I think many of you will love. I will be doing a Nintendo Switch skin haul and tutorial again very soon, so feel free to keep an eye out on that if you want an updated tutorial. If you're more a PC gamer girl or guy <laughs> but want the handheld experience slash Switch experience where you can play on handheld but also dock to a bigger screen, then of course I recommend the Steam Deck for this. I didn't think I'd love the Steam Deck as much as I do. I know I'm overdue for a Steam Deck update video, but I really do love this device. It's definitely chonkier than a Nintendo Switch, so just keep that in mind, but it is a really amazing device in my opinion and I can't wait to see what Valve does for their next gen. You can use it just as a dedicated handheld as well if you already have a PC, but if not it can also double as your docked setup, so I recommend a Steam Deck dock for that. Steam of course does operate on a different 
ecosystem as the Switch, so I also recommend Steam gift cards. So you or the gamer in your life you're gifting to can just choose whichever game they'd like. They usually run some pretty good sales, so it's nice to have that gift card on the ready to buy whatever something catches your eye. <laughs> If the person you're gifting to is into PC gaming, or even if they have a work from home desk setup, then there are a few items that I think would be really nice to gift them. I feel like a big part of cozy gaming and adding to that coziness does include surrounding yourself with things that look or make you feel cozy. So for a desk setup, you can gift a desk mat. Again, something that makes it very easy to switch things up in someone's set up because it comes in different colors, different prints, and it instantly changes the space, in my opinion. A mechanical keyboard, especially if they don't have one yet, I feel like is a gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> At least for them, or you might just introduce them to another addicting hobby. <laughs> But I love a mechanical keyboard because you can really customize it depending on your own preferences or needs. You can get them switches for the mechanical keyboard depending on if they like something more clicky, more tactile, or silent, or speedy. You can gift a keycap set which goes back to the whole customization thing and by this point you can probably already tell that I love to accessorize and customize my tech. So a custom coiled cable for the keyboard basically are just better looking cables. <laughs> an ergonomic footrest, an ergonomic wrist rest. If you're traveling with your Switch or Steam Deck and want a travel solution on a larger screen, I highly recommend a portable monitor. Besides regular keycaps, you can also get artisan keycaps and artisan keycap makers do make plenty that are video game inspired and I'd actually absolutely love to buy for myself. There are so many different PC mice that are out now depending on again their needs. There are some cool gaming ones that are a bit lighter or smaller depending on their hand shape. I love Logitech mice. I have their Lightspeed gaming one which is wireless and again I love the lesser cords I have on my desk, so I am a fan of wireless peripherals, but they also have the very popular MX Master mice, which are very ergonomically friendly for especially people who spend all day on their computer. I highly recommend this mouse. The Devoom D2 not only gives you a great sounding Bluetooth speaker, especially for its size, if you don't have this already, you've probably seen it in someone else's gamer setup. <laughs> I love it because you can display so many different pixel art on the screen, depending on your mood, depending on your decor that day, and continuing on to more audio. If you just want plain speakers, the ones that I use that are very affordable are the Creative Pebble ones, and then another that I recommend is the Sonos. Sonos? Sonos. Sonos. Their soundbar looks so sleek and modern and it sounds amazing as well. If you prefer a pair of headphones and especially one with a great mic, if you play multiplayer games or if you want to use this as a mic for your Zoom calls, Google Meets, you know. I use the Steel Series Arctis. It is also so comfortable. I've worn this for hours and hours on end. A headphone stand and of course the also popular Razer Kitty Kraken or Razer Kraken Kitty. It comes in black or pink and it has RGB on the ears. What more can you ask for? But what is a gamer's desk setup without RGB? <laughs> I love putting light strips behind my desk because it just adds to the ambiance of the room even if you don't like RGB. You can also just shine like a warm color like what I have with my lamp behind me. That's actually an RGB bulb and so I also recommend RGB bulbs because it turns any of your regular lamps or lighting fixtures into RGB. For these sort of RGB or ambient lighting products, I love the brand Govi. They're more affordable than the Philips Hue lights and they also offer their own styles and range of products now. Neon lamps, they're not actually neon bulbs anymore, they're like 
LED ropes <laughs> and they come in so many different colors and shapes to help organize and accessorize the desk setup even more. I love a good desk shelf. You can use it to store items in but also prop up your monitor but if you want a more seamless or clear desk setup then I do recommend a monitor arm. You can also get a desk tray if you're someone who works on your desk a lot. It is very easy to have little clutter everywhere and a tray for me makes it really easy to just clear things up and throw it in there rather than having everything spread out on my desk. Coasters, I always average like three to four different drinks around my desk and coasters of course help keep things tidy and avoids any spillage. I love monitor lights and honestly I have no idea how I've gone by without them before because I love working in the dark and it makes sure that my desk is still nicely lit even if I have the lights off and it just adds to again that ambient lighting but also is very functional. Still with more desk setup items and PC accessories, these can also be geared toward the cozy game that might do content creation around these games. I recommend a nice webcam and for that I also use the cameras from Logitech. When you use different peripherals from Logitech, you can run them through one software and manage all of them together, which I find very convenient, but at the same time I just think that they make good quality products not sponsored. <laughs> but if you already have a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, any external camera, you can get the Elgato Cam Link, which will basically let you use your existing camera as a webcam almost, and you can use that for your Zoom calls once again, or Google Meets, and also record yourself for videos like these. I have my camera linked up to my PC right now, and that is how I'm recording this video, so the Cam Link is definitely very useful for that. A ring light or a key light to light up the subject's face better. If you want an upgrade from your headphone microphone, then I recommend a USB mic. There are so many great options for different budgets that are out these days. The Elgato Stream Deck, not to be confused by Valve's Steam Deck. <laughs> they could have totally picked a different name, but that's a whole other thing. <laughs> the Stream Deck is not only useful for streams and streamers, I also use it lots for productivity and more love to Elgato, again not sponsored, <laughs> their collapsible green screen just helps save so much space and it gives you a nice option if you want to try out green screen with your content creation. While I do love Govi products, if you want to splurge just a little bit, I love the Nano Leaf panels. I have the Nano Leaf canvas, which I love because they kind of look like pixels to me. <laughs> and the more you have, the more you can kind of create the shapes that you want. I also have a set of the Nano Leaf lines, which I'll be putting up in my setup sometime very soon. If you want something not RGB, something a bit more homey and also cozy, of course. <laughs> they also came out with the Nano Leaf elements, which look like wood panels that just glow an ambient um, warm light gaming chair we need something to sit on of course you can't go wrong with the brand secret lab but i'm also in the market right now for a good ergonomic chair while i haven't tried one out yet personally i will have one linked that's been recommended to me and i'm looking forward to trying and more on ergonomics you might want to upgrade your standard desk to a standing desk because you know our backs really be hurting <laughs> when we've been sitting for a long time. One that I actually want to get for myself and for a standing desk setup is a walking pad. It's much more compact and easy to tuck away, especially if you don't have much space in your space. <laughs> so you can be walking and getting your steps in while you're working. Alternatively, you can also get a desk bike for your standing desk setup. Moving on to more homey and decor items. No Cozy Gamer is complete without a throw blanket. Fuzzy throws, knitted throws, gaming throws, <laughs> all of the throws. Decorative pillows, candles, 
I've got one burning right now and I almost always do have one burning because it smells nice, <laughs> pretty straightforward, but also some scents like the one that I have burning right now is lavender and it just makes me so relaxed and super cozy. Mugs. Who doesn't love mugs? Whether you're a coffee person, tea person, water person? <laughs> Any person that I know at least wouldn't mind receiving mugs as a gift. I love mugs. I have way too many of them, but very happy to keep them coming. There are so many different cute mugs from video gaming characters or just gaming themes. I have a really cute mushroom one that's a recent purchase and I absolutely love. We're just about halfway our list. I hope you're getting some great ideas so far. <laughs> I will try to go over the rest a bit quicker, otherwise we'll be here forever. Hoodie blankets, fuzzy slippers, Squishmallow. <laughs> this is a whole other easy obsession. You're welcome. <laughs> Plants, real or not real. <laughs> no shame. I think the green just adds so much life in a room very easily. I also love decorating with dried botanicals, so like pompous grass, eucalyptus, cottontail, palm leaves. I can't remember the names of all of them, but you get what I mean. <laughs> kind of more collectible stuff, but also would make a nice decor are video game figures. Of course, there are Funko Pop. You can get them game guides to their favorite games. There are also art books or the making of types of books, which I personally really love looking through, especially for games that I just absolutely adore. Video game apparel, so this would include shirts, hats, Hats, socks, bags, acrylic stands. There's a different stand for different things, but I do love the acrylic ones because it blends into your decor very easily. I use these to prop up some of my video gaming figures or Funko Pop. There's also acrylic stands for mechanical keyboards, so really anything that you would like to display. The handhelds displayed behind me are being held up by acrylic stands as well. A mini fridge, which you can stock up with your favorite gamer fuel. <laughs> gaming ornaments, if you're gifting someone before the Christmas you can also give them an advent calendar that is themed after their favorite games or pop culture or chocolates. Who doesn't like chocolates? <laughs> Board games. Besides figures that you can purchase from a store, obviously, you can also go the custom route and do 3D printed. A Switch dock holder. One of my favorite 3D printing things I've ever seen. <laughs> These mini Switch card case replicas. I mentioned the Razer Kraken kitty ears earlier, but you can also get 3D printed ears for any animal that you can think of and put them on any headset you already own, which I think is brilliant. Video game inspired small appliances. I recently saw a Pokeball popcorn maker, for example, which I need in my life. <laughs> A rug for extra coziness, obviously, but you can also get them in all the coolest and fun designs these days. Art prints, another easy way to switch things up in your home. This digital clock, which I showed off in my desk setup. A video gaming themed desk calendar. A video game inspired notebook so you can write even more gift ideas. A chair cushion, and while you're comfy on that chair, I actually noticed that a lot of cozy gamers kind of cross over with a book community as well, so if you are someone who loves reading, of course you can't go wrong with a bookmark. Those cute little clip-on reading lamps. A Kobo or a Kindle. As much as I love collecting physical books, there's not enough space in my home for all of my collections. <laughs> but also it's extremely convenient to read off of an e-reader just because it's backlit and it's easy to travel with rather than having, you know, 20 books with you. <laughs> if they already have an e-reader, you can always gift a cover for said e-reader. I think I briefly mentioned earlier that I love retro gaming, but if you've been to my channel before, then you probably know. If it's not obvious by some of my handhelds behind me, then I recommend these retro handhelds as well to get them started on their collection if you or someone you know might want to 
get into retro gaming. For the different handheld generations by Nintendo, I recommend the Game Boy Advance to play every single Game Boy game up to the Game Boy Advance. It's totally backwards compatible. And for the DS line, I personally really like the DS Lite just because it also has a slot for Game Boy Advance and it can play all of the DS games as well. If you want a larger screen though and only want to play DS games, I love the DSi XL and if you want to play every single DS game plus all of the 3DS games then I recommend the new 3DS XL or the new 2DS XL which is the latest models that came out for that handheld generation. There are also replacement shells that exist for retro consoles if you're someone who wants to experiment with customizing um, Game Boys and DS's. I have a couple behind me which I customized myself. It's a Game Boy Color which I reshelled into white and put a backlight screen on and also a Game Boy Advance SP also in white and I added an IPS screen too. You can also just purchase a pre-modded Game Boy. There are tons who do this online. They pretty much take these retro handhelds and add all the modern components to it, like a bigger, better, brighter <laughs> screen, better buttons, a rechargeable battery, a headphone jack, better speaker, and so on. If you do enjoy tinkering though, an electric precision screwdriver with all of the bits you could ever need for any project, it's always nice to have around and just start building out your toolkit. If you're into mobile gaming, of course, I will first start with phone cases or iPad cases. If you use a pencil with your iPad, they also have skins and cases for it. If you want to have more of that handheld button experience, but with your mobile phone, I like the Backbone controller for iPhone and the Razer Kishi, which I've only tried the first version before, but they have come out with a V2 that is supposedly so much much better. We're in the last leg of this game guide. I really hope you're still with me. As someone who's into retro games and just retro things in general, I love listening to records, for example. There are some very cool releases of video game soundtracks on a vinyl record. Kind of a side note, but still along the lines of the retro stuff. I love the retro feel of Polaroids, or specifically the Fujifilm Instax mini film. <laughs> If not the camera, you can get just the Instax mini printer, which will let you print any picture from your phone on the Instax mini film. And of course, if they have a printer, there are different types of the Instax mini film that are out there as well, like different borders, different colors, different themes, designs that I think would be really fun to gift as well. Video game themed or just cozy looking <laughs> Apple Watch straps. Lego or Mega Constructs for your favorite video games. I find these super fun to put together and can also be an activity with your family or friends. And speaking of activities, there are different board games that are inspired by your favorite video games as well. The Stardew Valley board game is one that is super original, but also such a cute collectible for Stardew Valley fans. But other staple board games like Monopoly, for example, have come in a Pokemon version, a Mario version, Nintendo in general version. <laughs> you get the gist. Some sort of tote or gaming backpack to fit all of your gaming and tech devices on the go, or even an everyday sling bag I feel like is so functional and also trendy these days. I know a lot of you loved the find that I suggested in my Switch Lite bag video, which I'll also have linked in the cards. Fashion jewelry that is inspired by their favorite characters or follow a theme from the video game. Keychains. <laughs> a wallet or a coin purse. I saw a few at GameStop that I'd actually wouldn't mind buying for myself. <laughs> few. And that brings us to the end of my coziest gift guide. I hope you found something in this over a hundred different recommendations for the cozy gamer in your life or for yourself. We love self-care and treating ourselves on this channel, so I know you deserve it and I hope you picked out a few for yourself also. If you made it to the end, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be kind to yourselves and I will see you next time.